first thing you want to do when you first start working on electrical problems is you want to divide and conquer. You've got two parts here. You've got the truck and you've got the trailer. You want to verify which one actually has the problem. Chances are it's going to be in the trailer, but then again, you still want to check your truck too. So use a separate light tester, hook or ground, not to the frame, but to the four pole ground itself, because this is what's going to carry the ground to the trailer. So let's hook up our ground, lead to our tester to ground. We got our running lights on. Okay, so we're good to go. We'll do that same test with, with the left turn and right turn. Okay, once we got our verified, our truck is working fine, then we can start working on the trailer. The hitch should only be for pulling purposes, not for anything electrical. And that's the proper way how a trailer should be hooked up to the tow vehicle. Just to give you a quick idea how the electricity flows in the trailer, what happens is the electricity flows through the, like the brown, the yellow, and the green wire, goes through the lights, and then it has to flow back in a circle, like I said, so it has to all come back to ground. And on trailers, it goes through the frame. And from the frame, it has to go through the ground on the truck. And if there's any interruption, it's gonna cause your trailer lights not to work at all or do some weird stuff. We've got our ground wire right here. As you can see, it's loose in the air. It's not gonna do it any good. We got our wires disconnected. Let's go out back and show you what's gonna happen when you have no ground wire attached to the trailer. You can see here, we actually got the running lights on on the trailer, and yet we still have of the ground disconnected up front. Because basically what's happening is starting to get ground any way it can. And in this instance, it's actually getting it through the ball of a truck. Now if you get a brand new hitch, and you got everything painted and nice and new, chances are this is not gonna work this way. But in an older vehicle, with the parts wore in, and used a lot where you got still got metal to metal contact, you probably get it to work. However, it's not very good on an electrical system because when you go down the road, you're gonna get a constant on off all the time. Have you seen probably guys going down the road, you see their lights flickering every time they hit a bump. We'll shake the trailer and get the same effect. And now we got the turn signal on. Again, the ground's still not hooked up front, but it's getting the ground through the ball. We'll go ahead and shake the trailer again. How it goes off, well that's not good. So to fix that, we'll go ahead and reattach our ground. All right, let's go ahead and run a ground screw back into the trailer. All right, now we'll go ahead, we've got it reattached. Let's go ahead and test it back at the other end of the trailer. All right, got a running light circuit back on. We'll go ahead and check the trailer, simulate bouncing down the road. 